Hello folks, my name is Mark. Welcome to my channel. And I got a new coffee maker. Woohoo! Um, so this is a Faberware 12 cup Yosemite percolator. It's a stainless steel uh, percolator. And uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know I like to drink coffee. I drink it in the morning. Often I'll have some in the afternoon. And uh, so I got a new coffee pot. Something that is a little bit bigger than this GSI uh, French press type coffee maker. This is what I've been using. I bought this uh, years ago when I first started doing motorcycle camping. I bought this one because it's plastic or whatever uh, Lexan or whatever uh, material that is. It doesn't break. It's nice and small and uh, it makes a fair amount of coffee. Uh, the minimum amount for me. Uh, I can I can drink more coffee than this what this makes in one serving so uh, this is great for motorcycle camping and I'll continue to use this for motorcycle camping but for cargo trailer camping I've got this and get it out of the box here So we've got some cardboard pieces, a box, glass percolator, knob handle, at least I think it's glass. I was reading some reviews and some people say that uh, this knob can break kind of easily so uh, I'll be on the lookout for any such issues as that so we've got some uh, instructions and uh, some parts it's been a long long time since I've used a percolator to make coffee so uh, it's going to be a learning experience now if I can't get enough coffee out of that I don't know what to say Well, it looks nice. It's not too heavy. It looks like a camping coffee maker. At least to me. Alright. Well, the only other thing to do is, is to, to wash it and uh, throw some coffee grounds in there. Figure out if I want to use uh, filters, like some people say it's nice to uh, cut a hole in your filter and use a filter in there, and that you'll end up with less coffee grounds, I guess. Um, but let me get it rinsed out and figured out a little bit, and I'll get some coffee in it, and we'll cook it over there on the camp stove. We'll clear out some of this area right here and get the camp stove going. Put in eight cups of water. We'll try that.
All right, so I've never never done this before. But I think this is how you do it. As long as it doesn't start pumping before I get ready. What did I do with my coffee? There it is. All right, here goes. So I've got eight cups of water in there. And I'm going to put in um, inside my house we use a drip coffee maker and I put in uh, four of these one eighth inch cup uh, scoops to make 12 cups of coffee. So I'm going to make, I'm going to do three. And I, uh, I hope that's an appropriate amount for eight cups of coffee. All right. How long will it take to, uh, to start going? I don't know. But I guess I'll just let the camera go for a few minutes. And uh, through the magic of video making, I can probably make it go a little faster for you. We have perkage. All right, so it's twelve fifty eight, and uh, the instruction says to let that go for about seven or ten minutes or something like that. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Oh, I think we're supposed to turn it down a little bit. About 10 minutes, it's now 108. So let's uh, go ahead and turn that off. Let's see how it pours. The handle's not bad. It's a little bit warm up here at the top, but fairly cool here. The glass is very hot. So I wanna Make sure that that doesn't fall open. Well, it looks like coffee. So, yeah, looks like coffee. stuff in there. A little bit of creamer. Some sugar. Of course I still don't have a spoon. A little bit of stir in there. I'm afraid to touch it to my lips because I'm I know it's gonna burn me.
I don't know, it tastes kind of weak. I mean, it's all right, but I'm going to have to work on uh, how much coffee to put in for how much water and uh, how long to brew it for till I'm a happy camper. But we'll, we'll get it figured out, I think. Still pretty hot, though. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.